Hi, this is Kerry Artek with Wicked Stocks bringing you the Daily Spy Report for Tuesday, December 14th, 2021. As usual, before I jump into the charts, just want to encourage you to please click like. If you like the Daily Spy Report, if you're watching it every day or if this is your first time, please click like each and every time. That helps a great deal with the YouTube web presence. And also, subscribe. Subscribing to the Wicked Stocks YouTube channel will provide you notifications, provided your notification settings are on. Each and every time new content has been uploaded to the Wicked Stocks YouTube channel. You've got the Daily Spy Report now going out every day, the Daily Triple Q Report now going out every day as well. They're both uploaded, uh, uploaded uh, generally by 6 p.m. Central Standard Time Chicago each and every trading day for the next trading day. We also do at least one free stock pick a week on the Wicked Stocks YouTube channel and uh, occasional Bitcoin and U.S. dollar analysis, so forth and so on. So please click subscribe. Uh, you won't regret it. Let's jump into, rather than the charts right away, I'm just going to kind of make a point here in the support and resistance area, which is to say that uh, I am heavy into later week uh, below 467 and a quarter. In other words, I expect the market to continue easing south, provided we open today below 467 and a quarter and that level holds. Uh, we can, within the day, quite easily test 462 half if we open below 67 and a quarter, 62 half able to contain initial selling. And if we break 62 half, then 459.91 is expected uh, intraday, where we could actually bottom out uh, into later week, possibly through Friday. And I'll show you that in a moment, but I also want to emphasize that I turned bullish above 470.94. We came very close. Well, let me show you the chart here real quick, and you can take a look at the 467 and a quarter. Uh, that chart is not an updated chart that was in the final minutes of the day. Uh, we did settle a little higher. So we settled, you know, just below that formation, which was 466.80 on Monday. It's 467 and a quarter today. It is a very simple channel structure, um, you know, and but it still has the ability to contain daily highs and below which selling pressures can build. We actually may test that 459.91 level today. Uh, once again, we could fall to 462 half quite easily where we could bounce nicely, but just respect the possibility for 459.91 as the day wears on. If we test 462 half early, uh, we could break it in the final hour and test 459.91 where we could bottom out uh, into later week, possibly through Friday. And it can, it is considered a three to five day target now below 467 and a quarter. We actually may test it today, as I say. Uh, along with 459.91 as a 50% downside retracement, we also, in, the, in a very close uh, proximity is 460.30, which is the high of the move low from about a week and a half ago. So that area is respectable. It can contain selling through the rest of the week. And from there, who knows? We'll take it on a day-by-day -day basis. We may turn higher than through the rest of December. Um, but if we close below 459.91, then I think over the next couple of weeks, we should continue south into the 440s, where we have you know, a convergence right now between a long-term channel bottom at 444.67 and a very recent two to three week channel bottom at 447.50. So if we were to test that area over the next few weeks, and once again, it becomes kind of a one to two week target. If we close today below 459.91, the 440s able to absorb selling through January trade. From there, we can uh, stabilize, consolidate, and even rotate higher to new highs, perhaps within a month or two of testing the 440s. Now, as I mentioned a moment ago, I turned bullish through the rest of the week above 470.94. And that is um, uh, in reach today if we push or open above 467 and a quarter. So if we open above 467 and a quarter, this market can quite easily kind of uh, just drift right back up to that higher, uh, those that high area actually uh, from what is that, Friday and Monday. Uh, and you can see it clearly shown here as another simple channel structure, 470.94 today. So if we open above 467 and a quarter, 470.94 is in reach quite easily so. It can contain daily buying pressures. 
uh, under that scenario, I just, uh, you know, I suggest that you be careful <laughs> if we close, if we push through 470.94, the market can run uh, into the, the into later afternoon. Uh, but if we close above 470.94, I do think the market has sort of regained upward momentum after what I see is sort of an island of consolidation here over the last five trading days. Closing above 470.94 will discontinue that. And I think the 482.03 long-term trend line then in reach by the end of next week. Now I'm going to throw another number at you for the triple Q. The triple Q has a channel top presently at 400.62 and dropping. And you might watch the triple Q, the daily triple Q report, which is now a daily video analysis that started on Monday. If we can close above 400.62 in the triple Q, I'm going to feel a lot more confident in the buy signal that may emerge above 470.94. So there is the chance that we close above 470.94 in the SPY, but we don't close above 400.62 in the triple Q. I still think it's a decent buy signal in the, in the SPY, but I think it becomes more reliable, more sustained, um, you know, that I think the triple Q and the SPY will then trade in lockstep to the upside if the triple Q can close above 400.62. I just thought I would throw that at you. You can keep one eye on the triple Q today if we get a nice rally uh, in terms of uh, do we get follow through buying pressures into next week above that 470.94 level. And I think the answer is uh, likely yes, if the triple Q can also close above 400.62. Uh, if we do close above 470.94, once again, the 482.03 long-term trend line in reach again by the end of next week, and that is, uh, you know, depicted more properly here. You can see it's stretching back almost a year and a half, 482.03. We've tested it several times over the last few months, can absorb monthly buying pressures when tested. It is also the uh, uh, the start, really, of a range of resistance up to 484.29 that can absorb buying, as I say, through January and once tested tested, the market can fall off from there. But closing above 484.29 uh, should then yield uh, a more sustained and even accelerated bullish uh, framework as we continue through Q1 and even into Q2. I'm going to leave you with the support and resistance levels for the day. All the minor points are carefully chosen. They're tradable levels for aggressive day traders, but the points to pivot off of, if you will, are 467 and a quarter, a clear open below it. We just might reach 459.91 today. If we open above it, the market can climb back to 470.94 today. And if we close above 470.94, we're actually bullish into next week. I think that's really all that needs to be said. I appreciate you watching this on a daily basis. If you are, please click like and subscribe. And I will be back tomorrow for Wednesday's Daily Spy Report. You have a great evening.